Hi kids, welcome back to Kate Productions. Today we're going to be reading a story called The Three Little Pigs by Anne Walter and Daniel Postgate from the Hopscotch Fairy Tales. So let's get started. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. One day, their mother said, you're old enough to build your own houses now, but beware of the big bad wolf. Soon, the three little pigs met a man carrying straw. Please, may I have some straw? asked the first little pig. Yes, replied the man. The first little pig quickly built a house of straw. Next, they met a man carrying sticks. Please, may I have some sticks? asked the second little pig. Of course, replied the man. The second little pig quickly built a house of sticks. Then the third little pig met a man carrying bricks. Please, may I have some bricks? he asked. Certainly, replied the man. The third little pig worked all week long on his house of bricks. The big bad wolf soon knocked at the first little pig's door. Little pig, little pig, let me in, he called. The first little pig remembered what his mother had told him. Not by the hairs on my chinny chin chin, he replied. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, roared the wolf. He huffed and he puffed and he blew that straw house down. The first little pig fled to his brother's house. The big bad wolf knocked at the second little pig's door. Little pig, little pig, let me in, he called. Not by the hairs on my chinny chin chin, replied the second little pig, shaking. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, roared the wolf. He huffed and he puffed and he blew that straw house down. The two little pigs fled to their brother's house. The big bagged wolf knocked at the third little pig's door. Little pig, little pig, let me in, he called. Not by the hairs on my chinny chin chin, came the reply. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, roared the wolf. Just you try it, called the third pig little cheekily. The wolf huffed and he puffed. And he huffed and he puffed, but he could not blow that brick house down. The wolf was very angry. He decided to climb onto the roof and down the chimney to get his dinner. Up he climbed. In he squeezed, and down he dropped, straight into the third little pig's cooking pot. The wolf was never seen again. The three little pigs celebrated with a big party. The end. Thank you so much for listening, and be sure to like and comment on this video if you have any more suggestions. And be sure to subscribe to Kate Productions for more videos like this. Thank you.